Today is the first day of the rest of your life. And what are you going to do with it? Where do you want to take your life from here? What are you going to do with it? And I ask that question because so many times uh, when I coach people or when I'm consulting with people, they always talk about that influx of something. They're waiting for something to help change their lives. They're waiting to come into money. They're waiting for a pay raise. They're waiting for something to happen. If I only had that one special person in my life, or if I only had these things, my life would change. And the reality is your life is never going to change unless you decide it's going to change and you take control of your life. And you take control of your life immediately. No external forces are going to have impact on your life. It will have a short-term impact, but won't have a long-term impact on your life until you get your life right. You get your life right. And the reality is real simple. Yeah, look, if you can't save a percentage of your income now, coming into more money isn't going to change your life long-term because I promise you this, if you can't save money now, you're not going to be able to save money when you come into it. You're going to find all kinds of things to spend it on. If you're waiting for someone special to come into your life or an event to happen in your life in order for your life to get better, all that's going to do is miserable you is going to have everything that they want and miserable you is going to figure out a way to destroy it and have that taken away from you. And then you're going to look for blaming others or blaming outside uh, sources on what happened to your life. You need to take control of your life and you can do that. And you can do that. If you're feeling depressed right now, if you're feeling down right now, I'm going to tell you guys, a lot of depression is self-imposed. There are two types of depression, I believe. There's a chemical imbalance of the brain, right, that has to have medication in order to get that straight. And then there is self-imposed depression that we put on ourselves because X, Y, and Z didn't happen. And now all of a sudden we give ourselves uh, the right to be depressed or we give ourselves the, the, uh, uh, the permission to be depressed. You control your future. You control your destiny. And a lot of depression has to come down with really one factor is purpose. What is your purpose? What are you working toward? What are you working uh, to achieve or accomplish? And I think a lot of people struggle with that. And the problem is, is this. Everybody's going for the big home run. Everybody wants to score the touchdown, the winning goal, the winning whatever. Everybody wants that big win. Life is not about one big win. It's about smaller wins over a long period of time. Consistent, small wins. One of my favorite sayings is, how do you eat an elephant? You eat an elephant one bite at a time. And if you want to change your life, you got to make small, minute adjustments in your life. Change your life a little. And you'll have a massive impact on your life down the road. But everybody wants it now. Everybody wants that big win now. And the reality is, it's not always going to happen. Matter of fact, 99% of the time, it's not going to happen. But you control your future. You control your destiny. I can't tell you how many times people say to me, well, if I just got that pay raise. And what happens? They get that pay raise, and they're in the same position a month from now or a month from when they got that pay raise uh, back to where they were before they got the pay raise. Because they look for excuses. Your success is not tied into anything you're, other than your own personal drive and, and your small ambition and successes in life, it's not tied into exterior or external resources. It's not tied to external events. Success happens here, inside. That's why I'm not really big, and I know I posted this before, about not following, you know, I don't get comfortable with failure, I don't follow the failure guidelines of, well, you better get comfortable with failure. You better like failing. I don't believe in that. I think you got to like winning. And, and it's a culmination of those small wins, but it's small victories. It's not one big score. It's, a, it's an accumulation of a lot of different smaller wins that get you to where you want to be. 
You know, most people, and, and I don't relate a lot of this to money, but most people don't have any money because they don't know how to save money. And I guarantee you guys, if you don't know how to save a dollar, you're never going to have a million dollars. If you can't save a hundred, how are you going to have a thousand? If you can't save a thousand, you can't get 10,000. If you can't save 10,000, you're never going to have a hundred thousand. And if you can't save a hundred thousand dollars, you will never get to a million dollars. Never. Unless you win the lottery. And how many people out there are trying to win that lottery? Everybody. Everybody. So you've got to get your life right. You got to make small changes in your life. If you're not happy where you are, make some smaller changes, incremental changes that lead to a much bigger uh, effective change in your life. You know, the one thing that money provides you that a lot of other things don't is money gives you options. It's not going to buy you happiness. It's not going to buy you the girl of your dreams. Not for a long period anyway, until you go broke. But it's not going to give you more talent. It's not going to give you anything other than more options. Having money will give you a bigger house. It'll give you a different car. But having money isn't going to change your life until you change your life. So I encourage you to make small incremental changes. Remember what I said when this video started. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. So what are you going to do with it? Where are you going to take your life tomorrow? What changes are you going to make today that's going to impact your tomorrows? That's where you need to focus. Don't focus on the macro. Focus on the micro. One small change equals an incredible result down the road. Now, I often use the golf analogy, right? The, the difference between being 50 yards or 100 yards to the left or the right is not a massive change in the angle of the golf club. It's micro changes. It's millimeters. Millimeters. That club face not being square to the ball sends that ball into a totally different direction. You can use that same analogy in your life. Making small changes in your life will yield an incredible outcome. So I ask you, what are you going to do with your life today that will impact your tomorrows? My goal is to help change one life. One life. One life at a time. And, and hopefully that will have a ripple effect out into the world. And we're going to talk about and focus on a lot of this stuff in the next year. And we're going to put out more and more content exactly on, how, you know, exactly on what it is that you need to do to change your life and make those positive uh, adjustments. You know, I'm going to go back to KDA, knowledge, having the right knowledge, D, to make the best decision you can, and then A, taking action on it. KDA, knowledge, decision, and action. Having the right knowledge to create the best decision possible or come to the best decision possible so you can take action on it and make your life better. This is the time for you to take control of your life. Now is your opportunity. What are you going to do from here on out today to impact your tomorrow? That's the question I put forth. I hope this helps you, and I hope you keep tuning back. If you haven't already, guys, hit that subscribe button because the content from here on out is going to get a lot more in-depth. It's going to get a lot more uh, personal, and I'm going to talk about some of the things that I've gone through in my life. So hope to see you on the next one. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.